Now, over 600 people have now been arrested as the Extinction Rebellion climate change protests enter their third day. Hundreds of police officers are being drafted in from across England and Wales to help them cope with the operation. Well, John Donison is in Trafalgar Square for us. John, it appears the police are stepping up their response, are they? That's right. We've heard from the Metropolitan Police Commissioner Cressida Dick uh, this morning saying that 500 officers are being brought in from other forces across England and Wales to assist uh, with their operation. And as you say, now 600 arrests over the last three days. And we've just had a briefing from the Met where they've said that is having an impact on in terms of how they police uh, the rest of the city. It is pulling in resources. Now, this morning, it seems they've had some success in shifting some of the protesters. But to be honest, as soon as they managed to clear some roads, more protesters grouped somewhere else. So, for example, Trafalgar Square here, all the roads around here still completely blocked. Whitehall was clear this morning. It's now blocked again. And John, we can see some of the protesters behind you. What have they been up to today? Well, one of the events that got a mo the most attention was what they were calling a mass nursing. And there we had hundreds of uh, mothers and babies gathering, uh, breastfeeding their babies in an effort to highlight in their view that it is the future generations that are going to suffer most from the impact of climate change. And certainly on day three, of these two weeks of protests, they don't seem to be getting any smaller. If anything, they're growing in number.